Hey guys, it's Krithika. Welcome back to my channel. So a few months ago, I posted a video here showing you guys how I take my own travel photos and a lot of you really enjoyed that video. Now that there's no travel happening, I'm just bored of posting my old travel photos on my Instagram. So I thought it might be a fun idea to do a photo shoot at home and show you guys how to take your photos by yourself at home. Now this is something I don't normally do. So this is going to be a challenge for me because I normally post outdoor travel type photos on my feed. And since traveling isn't going to happen for a while, I think I need to switch things up and also I miss taking photos so I thought this might be a fun challenge to do. To take this challenge to another level, I'm going to be taking photos on my phone instead of my camera. So the majority of the photos you see on my feed are shot either using my point and shoot camera which is what I'm vlogging with now or my mirrorless camera which is the Sony A6500. So this is going to be another challenge as well. A I'm going to be taking photos by myself, B uh, this is going to be in my house so I'm going to have to find interesting spots to take photos at and C I'm going to be using my phone. So I think this is an interesting challenge. I think challenges are good to level up your creativity so let's get started. Before we start, let me quickly show you what setup I'm using. So I don't really have my big tripod, but I have this uh, Manfrotto Pixie Evo tripod. This is what I'm going to be using. And luckily I found a mobile clip in my drawer at home. So uh, I've attached that to this. And of course, I'm going to be using my phone, which is the iPhone 10. If you do end up recreating any of these photos or creating self portraits after watching this video, I'd love to check them out. So be sure to tag me in your photos and also use this hashtag, hashtag self portraits with Kritika. And if you check out that hashtag, I already have some of my self portraits there as well so I'll be happy to check out your photos and like them and share them on my stories. One thing I'm going to be doing today which I think is a tip that might be helpful for you guys as well is that instead of using the actual uh, iPhone camera I'm going to be using the camera on the Lightroom mobile app. This is a free app but the camera here allows you to adjust a lot of settings like you can adjust the ISO and the shutter speed and stuff so although I'm not using a professional camera I do have access to some of these professional settings so hopefully these photos will turn out well. So right now I'm wearing this really flowy dress and I want to capture like the flowiness of it. So the first picture I want to take is with the sky. I've seen a lot of people take these photos so it's not really like an original idea or anything but I think it looks really nice and the sky is blue there's also lots of clouds and stuff so I'm gonna try taking a picture with the sky. This is literally my setup right now. Just wanna dance, want a simple romance, nothing more, nothing less from you. So here I'm trying a bunch of different poses. I wanted the dress to seem flowy, which is why I'm putting my hands up and posing. I'm also using a 10 second self timer to take these shots. The best thing about self-portraits is that you can really experiment with poses that you'd otherwise probably feel shy to try and you can keep trying until you get the best shot. I actually ended up getting a lot of good shots. I'm sweating already but uh, I'm quite happy with how the first shot turned out. tip if you're new to photography the best times to shoot photos are either early in the morning when the sun is rising or during sunset the sun is setting there in the back uh, and the lighting during this time is amazing which is why I'm trying to get as many shots now as possible excuse my super sweaty face but I was just trying to figure out where to take the second photo and I was just opening this other terrace this is where a water tank is actually I thought I'll go use the staircase there to take a photo but I was just opening the door and I noticed these shadows falling on my face which I think look super cool so uh, I'm gonna try taking a photo with this let's see how this goes I just went downstairs and got this because I don't have a long tripod like I said so I'm gonna set it up on this so this is the setup the shadow is nice the sun is coming from there and uh, this app is amazing I've increased the shutter speed and the ISO is quite low as well All I need short-term devotion I don't wanna be so emotional I was honestly sweating like a pig here, but playing with shadows is a great way to get good shots, especially if you're trying to take photos at home. Again, I'm trying a bunch of different poses here and seeing what works best. Oh no. I haven't even edited it yet, but I love how that shot turned out. 
So yeah, I just came out to the water tank and there's this uh, staircase here which I thought I could use but I think there's another staircase there which will look nicer. I'm just worried about dropping my camera and phone and stuff but let's try to go up there and get a picture. Made it to the top, phone and my camera are intact so I'm just gonna try to find an angle now which works and hopefully we'll get another good shot here. Don't care what you say, what you do, how you feel As long as you can show me a good time I don't need promises, honestly, no big deal As long as you can show me I wish I had a Bluetooth button so I could just click instead of coming again and again. So these shots look really nice, the sky behind looks amazing but they are kind of dark so I don't know how they look after editing and also I feel like I'm struggling to pose so I'm just trying to figure out what pose works here. I think we got the shot. That shot is amazing. I feel like all the photos I've taken so far have been with the sky or like the sunset, but the sun is setting right now. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna try to take a photo of like me sitting over here and with the sunset in the background. I don't wanna be so emotional. Just wanna dance, want a simple romance, nothing. More I think we got the shot. No now I just have to figure out how to get down with all my stuff. The sun is about to set now. In fact, the lighting right now is not that great. The sun is behind all those trees and stuff. But I bothered wearing makeup today. So I'm going to try to maximize this situation and take another photo. So I'm in my garden right now. So I'm actually back home in Velour in case you didn't know. And we have a really nice garden here. So I'm just going to try to walk around and find a spot to take a photo at. Oh no. So I feel like this is not the best frame but I'm just gonna try and see if it looks good. I don't care what you say, what you do, how you feel As long as you can show me a good time I don't need promises so I got one shot here in the garden although I feel like it's a little grainy because it is dark so I'm gonna stop the shoot for today and continue tomorrow and hopefully we'll take some more photos here in the garden tomorrow as well. Hey guys it's the next day hence the outfit change. So the next photo I'm attempting is something that is inspired by Sorella Moore whose photos I love. So she did this one photo where she sort of just like used these curtains and went underneath it and took a picture. I don't know how to explain but that's what I'm gonna be trying with my own spin. So I'm gonna be trying it with with this tablecloth. I don't even know how to explain but basically I'm gonna go underneath this and sort of take a picture like this. Ooh, that looks cool. So yeah, something like that basically. I wanted something which has like holes in it so that sunlight can pass through this and form like a cool effect on my body. I don't know how it's gonna work but we'll see. But if you don't have this you can also try it with like a dupatta or something like that. So I'm gonna stop talking and just get to it now. <laughs> Okay, this picture is much harder to take than I imagined so I got rid of my tripod and I'm just gonna do like a selfie type thing and I'm probably gonna stand instead of sitting because it's burning hot. I met this girl when I was 12 years old Give her everything to shot of the world Get it get a grip every time I tried to hold on I slip Deep in this feeling that gravity pulls me down I know I'm tripping I'm falling in love with the drum breaks She keep me safe for the gunplay when I'm home So after a lot of struggle I managed to get one shot which I absolutely love I love how the shadows on my face are forming this pattern and I think it looks beautiful and I'm sure with editing it's gonna look even more amazing so I'm very happy with this shot although I did have to struggle a lot because the length of that cloth was not too long so it just kept falling off and flying away so it was a bit of a struggle but worth it I think. Yeah. So 
for the next shot i have another prop a mirror which was a struggle to find because all the mirrors in my house are screwed to the wall this was the only one so i'm not really sure how i'm going to take this photo but i feel like mirrors are really cool to take photos with and i'm just going to play around and see uh, where i can get good reflections and try to take a shot but before that i actually noticed something this chair over here is uh, forming like these really cool shadows and i really like how it looks i'm going to try and take a photo there first so when i'm lonely she keep me company it's funny i used to want to grow older travel with sight in these rounds so they realize that she got me out of my mind i'm trying to kick these nerves to grab hold to the microphone got him not in the law maybe she'll save the world for me maybe she'll right my wrongs if i'm coming out too strong oh well only way to tell is by saying this how i feel and that's real garden right now and the lighting now is amazing it's 5 pm and the golden light is here and i'm just going to try taking a picture with a mirror i also have a prop a book so i don't know i'm just going to try a bunch of angles and see what works since i'm back home i thankfully have access to this garden but you could also just use plants that you have indoors to take some cool shots I just realized I'm probably going to need a chair or a stool to get the angle so that I'm also in the reflection so I'm going to go get one from inside. It's been like wine with a Sunday brunch can I shine for like everything might turn out just all right. I know I'm lying to myself. Pardon my wishful thinking. Still fly from head to trinkets. Afraid of blinking can't even miss a second of the blessings I'm living messy like every minute is a gift it's a pleasure. Let's get together. So I was trying this one particular shot where I basically wanted my face and everything to be in the reflection and only my feet to show along with the mirror. Uh but I'm just not able to figure out the angle. I think I need a bigger tripod for that and the stool is just not the right height. So I think I'm going to skip that, but I think uh, I'm just going to go and find some cool angles to take these mirror shots now. Pick up your mood. I know I lack the direction. Skip on class at a lecture. Busy trying to get it together. Something clever my notes to tether to the reckless behaviors with good intentions. Smolder incense for ridden to negative energy. Let peace, love it to rain and be spill for me. None of it is me to be told and realize me how I let feelings loose on loose leaf. Murder the goose beat shout to mills on the cool keys oop she's for like a cool breeze near the ocean side from the cold to the glow wide with a open eye and a smile for like everything might turn out to be fine how that last shot turned out in fact i think i liked all the shots from this whole photo shoot that i did over the last couple of days i really didn't expect my phone to take such nice photos so i'm quite impressed with that and also i feel like a lot of times we just take our surroundings and our home for granted but if you really try to be creative and look at things from a different perspective you can take some amazing shots at home using your phone so i hope you guys enjoyed this video the last time i posted a similar video where i explained how i take my travel photos i also shared some photography tips so uh, Uh, be sure to check that out and leave a card over here and all the photos that were edited in this video were done using my presets which are out for sale so i'll leave a link in the description in case you want to check them out and buy them i enjoyed this challenge so much that i feel like i don't mind doing a part 2 so if you'd like to watch another video like this just comment and let me know anyway if you guys do recreate any of these photos or try your own self portraits at home i'd love to check them out so be sure to tag me on instagram and use the hashtag uh, self portraits with kritika so i can go and see these photos and like them and share them on my stories if you enjoyed this video give it a like leave a comment subscribe to my channel press the bell button and i will see you guys next time bye also to take this challenge to another oh my god birds please hey guys it's the next oh crow hey guys it's bird oh i'm so sweaty right now hey guys oh. hey guys it's no <laughs> This bird literally starts chirping whenever I say something.